So I am Mauro Costa Mattioli, an associate professor in the Department of Neuroscience and Memory Brain Research Center at Baylor College of Medicine. I am together with my postdoc. I'm Shelley Buffington, also in the Memory and Brain Research Center at Baylor College of Medicine. Today we're going to tell you about our study in cell, about how maternal diet induced obesity can affect offspring neurodevelopment and social behavior. More specifically, we will tell you how maternal obesity can change the microbiome in offsprings and how those changes in the microbiome could affect social behavior and related changes in synaptic strength in the brain. Environmental factors or genetic factors or a combination of both can be responsible for neurodevelopmental disorders, specifically autism spectrum disorder. So we were interested in how maternal obesity could change behavior in offspring. And the reason is because it has been an association between maternal obesity and an increased risk of uh, autism in, in kids. So we wanted to see whether we could replicate those uh, human data in animals and what we did is we took females and we put them under a hyper diet. We waited for a few weeks until the offsprings are born. And surprisingly, when we measured the behavior of, of offsprings, when the offsprings were adult, we found that uh, uh, the offsprings that come from maternal hyper diet moms, they have a severe impairment in, in social behaviors. Now, uh, what is the mechanism responsible for this? So we uh, decided to look at changes in the microbiome. And the reason is because there has been an association between uh, kids with autism and gastrointestinal disorders. Uh, and of course, the microbiome is clearly affected by diet, and even by maternal diet can affect the microbiome of offspring. In order to look at this, we did several experiments. The first one was sequence, and to try to identify whether there was a difference between the microbiome of the normal animals and, and the maternal hyper diet offspring. And when we do 16 ribosome RNA sequencing, we found a complete separation in the clusters. To determine if the microbiome changes in the maternal high fat diet offspring were associated with the altered behavior, we performed a series of experiments. One of these was co-housing, where we housed the maternal high fat diet offspring with maternal regular diet offspring. The idea here was that maternal high fat diet offspring would gather microbiota from the maternal regular diet offspring because they're coprophagic, they eat each other's poop. When we assayed social behavior in the co-housed mice, we found that the co-housed maternal high-fat diet mice showed normal social behavior. And also when we performed the 16S sequencing on these mice, we found that the altered microbiome was completely restored. And from those experiments, we concluded that there was a lack of a specific bacteria or a subset of bacteria which is responsible for uh, uh, the behavioral deficit. In a complementary set of experiments, we assayed social behavior in germ-free animals. So these are animals without a microbiome. And what we found is that the germ-free behavior was very similar to the social impairments that we saw in the maternal high-fat diet offspring. More importantly, if one were to reintroduce the microbiota in those germ-free animals from a normal animal, and if you were to measure their behavior when the animals are adult, their behavior is socially at the social level they're completely normal, but reconstitution with the microbiota from the maternal hepatitis animals lead to a, a, a still an impairment in social behaviors. So, but what is the bacteria? Is there one bacteria? Is many bacteria which are responsible for that? So what we did is we did genome-wide sequencing to try to identify specifically the bacteria that is responsible for that phenotype. And we found several bacteria whose abundance was significantly reduced. But the one that we were more interested in is called uh, Lactobacillus ruteri. So is the lack of that bacteria really responsible for the uh, behavioral deficit? So what we did is we grow that bacteria and we include it into the water and we treat those animals for about four weeks. And when we measured the behavior of the maternal hepatitis diet offspring, we found that their social behavior is essentially restored. So we wanted to know how does this work just in, in the brain, what's going on? We know that the hormone oxytocin is very important for social interaction. When we compare oxytocin levels in maternal regular diet versus maternal high fat diet mice, we found decreased levels of oxytocin in the maternal high fat diet offspring. However, we found that lactobacillus reuteri was able to restore oxytocin levels. The beauty of, of the experiment is if you were to treat with lactobacillus reuteri, we not only restore the behavioral changes, but we also restore 
what we believe are uh, uh, changes in synaptic strengths which are associated with this lack of social behavior. In conclusion, maternal half dye offspring show uh, behavioral deficits and also uh, a significant change in the gut microbiome. And maternal half dye eliminate or reduce, significantly reduce any specific bacteria, lactobacillus ruteri, which is crucial for social behavior. And more importantly, uh, these bacteria we believe that could uh, potentially be used uh, as a new probiotic for the treatment of behavioral symptoms which are associated with autism spectrum disorder. And boom, boom, boom.